Ooh, okay. Hola. I just actually hit my face so hard. Okay. This video is gonna be dedicated towards my pre-vacation prep. Day two. This is a little bit of a deja vu moment. I haven't started packing anything yet. That means tomorrow I'm going to be doing a majority of my packing. We're just going to have to make do with what we got. Um, the only thing that I really prepared ahead of time so far is my GoPro. I just plugged in the batteries. That's all I did. Good try. What? Thanks. Okay. Good night. Okay, that's enough of that. All right, it is currently Tuesday at 6.13 p.m. One hour later. Hello, okay. Hey party people, so I just finished eating dinner a little bit ago. It is currently 7.36. We're starting to get things together. I'm definitely doing this a little bit later than I should have. I'll be showing you everything that I'm bringing before I'm about to pack it. This is Pan's room. How are we doing in here? You want to say anything? Hi. Let's do this thing. <laughs> it is currently about 8.30. Um, we're having a little bit of a check-in moment. I think I've pretty much gotten most of the things that I'm going to pack, you know, out in the open. So I'm going to show you guys and then pack them. I need to go get my suitcase. This suitcase is stored in the sketchiest area of my house. I normally don't put this much work into organizing things because I'd normally just pack them and shove them into my bag, but for you guys, okay? We'll start with the bathroom. So basically, in this little pouch right here, I'm going to be packing cotton pads, some little pre-done floss, I don't know, I like this stuff, and a bunch of contacts. These are daily contacts, so that's why I need so many of them because I dispose them every night because it's actually healthier for my eyes that way. Um, and if you're wondering why I have a charger right here, I'm just charging this temporarily. I'm going to be bringing this on the trip because it has a USB little port thing so I can charge my camera. Okay, so basically right here I just have my toothbrush, toothpaste, a big bag that I'm going to be putting all of this stuff into, a hairbrush with just some elastics and scrunchies, two headbands, a plastic bag, not very turtle friendly, but you got to do what you got to do. I have my Clarisonic right here, some deodorant, two different moisturizers that I like to mix, this Mario Badescu face wash, I really love that stuff, some sunscreen for my face because I do not want to get burnt, and witch hazel, my holy grail skin product. I have everything else kind of like laid out here. So first of all, I'm going to be bringing my GoPro in case we're going to go swimming anywhere. This is obviously great for underwater and on the go shots. So I have all my like GoPro equipment in there. Right here, I just have my, I don't know, electronic that I'm going to be bringing. Just a disclaimer guys, I just want to put it out there that I'm not trying to brag in any way shape or form with any of the stuff that I'm bringing or showing. I pretty much pay for all of my clothes on my own and electronics and pretty much any other thing that I want. Any of the necessities like school, food, housing, etc. My parents take care of but everything else I do pay for with my own money and I make off of YouTube. Sure you've heard that one before on my slime channel. I'm going to be bringing my iPad to just like watch the movies on. I know that is so extra. I apologize. My phone for obvious reasons. My laptop so I can edit AirPods because once again I'm extremely extra and obnoxious. Regular headphones because they don't lag as much when I'm editing on my computer. Just all of the charging cords <laughs> that I need for everything. This guy is my holy grail. So basically 
my sister Pan shops at Justice occasionally, and they had these things in there called, I think they're called squishimals. Oh my gosh, dude, these are so soft and squishy. You just want to give them a massive hug, but it's not like a normal stuffed animal. It is a special, like, kind of feels like half stuffed animal, half like memory foam in there. It is so nice. Not very mature, I guess you could say, but... I'm doing it anyway. Moving over here, we have my pencil case, all of the stuff I need for academics, my Chromebook because that's my school laptop. Back here, we just have a friendship bracelet that I'm working on. Over here, we just have all of the jewelry <laughs> that I am bringing. If you're wondering why I have straws over here, they're paper straws, by the way. I know these plastic bags are kind of counteractive for the whole like save the earth type thing, but I have paper straws, baby steps. I have an anklet over here. A necklace, another necklace, another necklace, another necklace. This is actually an opal. My father gave it to me. I really love it because it's my birthstone. Oh, these are some band-aids for my heels because sometimes my heels get cut up when I'm like walking in specific shoes. A really cute ring and some pearl earrings. This is just the makeup that I'm bringing. I most of the time just go for very basic makeup looks. I just have some primer, like a very light moisturizer foundation type thing right here. Blush, highlighter, concealer, eyelash color, eyebrow gel, eyebrow brush or eyelash brush, whatever you want to call it, and then just some mascara. And then this is the bag I'm going to be shoving it all into. So moving over here, we just have the shoes that I'm bringing. Probably way too many, but I just have... These are such basic shoes. Like, I'd also like to put it out there that my style is extremely basic. I have some Vans, some Converse, Nike, just black sneakers, Birkenstocks, and just regular gold flip-flops if we're going out and I need to dress up a little bit. So right here are just the two bags that I'm bringing. This is, I'm not even going to try to say the name. You know what it is. You've seen it all before. But this one right here is a Vera Bradley bag though, and it's a little bit bigger, so I'm going to be like shoving stuff in there and seeing if I need that or not. Up here, we have some sunglasses some sunglass cleaner, some gum, and a charging phone case. Right here, I just have my wallet and just a pocketbook to, I don't know, walk around with. All of right here, I just have my clothes. This ranges from tank tops to fluffier tops to tube tops to regular just like t-shirts. Over here, we have two dresses that I picked out. This one's kind of like a wrap dress and this one's just kind of like, I don't know, as you can see, that type of dress. I have two different belts right here in case, I don't know, I need belts. This is like a sweater and these two are like sweatshirts. And right here, I just kind of have longer pants. So these are leggings, jeans, and sweatpants. I have bikinis right here because there is a pool where we're staying and I'm super excited about that, but I can't go swimming too much because then my hands will be wrecked for gymnastics. My fellow gymnasts, you know. I have way too many pairs of shorts here that pretty much all look the same, but I'm bringing them all anyway because I don't know. They're a little bit different in my heart. And then I just have undergarments over there. I think we pretty much covered all bases. I hope I didn't miss anything. If I did, that's unfortunate for me. So yeah, that's pretty much how I pack. I normally don't lie everything out like this, like I showed you guys today, but I just did it for the sole purpose of showing you guys. So you're welcome. And I'm also planning on painting my nails. broke my suitcase. Bruh. <sighs> this is like a full out sport. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? All right, so only a few things went unpacked. My suitcase broke because that is overpacking at its finest. Oh boy. Okay. Hold this please, I don't want, it's white. I know, not blind. Put mine on my side. Okay. Oh no. Put it in nicely, <laughs> jerk. Thank you. You would think we would be going away for like a month for like all this packing we're doing, but... I'm only going away for like five days. 
So now I'm gonna sit down and do my nails. Typically when I do my nails, I just kinda listen to some YouTube on my phone. I don't know, or bop to some music. Wait a sec. So a little life hack here for you. If you wanna paint your nails just white, the thickest coat and the easiest way to paint them is actually by using French tip nail polish. This is because they typically formulate French tip nail polishes a lot thicker than regular polishes. So it goes on thicker and easier. But I've really been into painting my own nails. I used to get like S and S, but that was like damaging my nail beds, so not doing that anymore. But um I just use an OPI base coat, a sèche vite top coat. Few inches later. I made a couple big no no's on my nails. They look horrible. They're somehow lumpy. Like, look at my thumb. How does it even happen? That one's just completely, like, not even on my finger. I I'm too tired to make this work right now. I mean, from far away, they don't look bad. I gotta put my top coat on now. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. 